السلام عليكم in this session we will define the permutations and solve an extra exercise definition of the permutation let n be a natural number greater than 1 e is a set of cardinal n we call a permutation of e all arrangement of n elements of e let's say for example the set e that is a b c the permutations are we have to arrange a b c and put all cases there are six cases that are a b c a c b b a c b c a c a b and c b a we can write these cases in this way fix the element a and put b c in the second uh, permutation reverse b and c then the permutation will be c b here fix the element b and put a c then reverse a and c and put c and a then the last time fixed C and put A B then reverse A with B then it will be C B A and we can use a tree diagram to show us all permutations of A B C here we fixed A and we have to swap B and C after swapping B and C in the first case B C we fixed A B and put C then we swap B and C and it will be C, B. Then there are two permutations, A, B, C, and A, C, B. Similarly, if we fixed B, the remaining letters are A and C. After swapping A and C, we have two cases, A, C, and C, A. In the third case, we fixed the element C, and we put B and A, or A and B, it's the same. Then the first case it's B A and we swap B and A then it will be A B. These six are the permutations of the letter of the word A B C. Then we can write the word A B C in six forms. Here we have a property to calculate the number of the permutations that is n times n minus 1 times till 2 times 1 and we know it n factorial. For example, we have 10 trees on, of 10 types. In how many ways can we plant these trees in a garden? The answer is 10 factorial, that is 10 times 9 times till 1. The answer is 3,628,800 ways. The second example, we have a set. E that containing the elements A, B, C, D, E, and F. How many words of distinct? We have to pay attention for distinct. Letters can we form from this set? The answer is according to our rule and factorial at 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That is 6 factorial, that is 720 words. Here, we have an application. The question is, a file can fit 10 papers of different topics. We have seven English papers and three Arabic papers. And we have to pay attention. They are of different topics. The first question, in how many ways can we fit these papers in a file? For example, English, 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 Arabic, English, English, Arabic, English, Arabic. In how many ways can we fit the papers in the file if we want to put the papers of one subject beside each other? So we have the English beside each other and the Arabic beside each other. Take your time to solve this application, then we correct. The answer is, for the first application, for the first part of the application, it's 10 factorial. According to our rule of permutation, we can fit them in 10 factorial ways. That is 3,628,800 ways. The second part of our application is 7 factorial for English times 3 factorial for Arabic times 2. The answer is 60,480 ways. 
Here pay attention why we say that times 2. In the first case we have 3 Arabic, then the permutation of these 3 Arabic papers is 3 factorial and the permutations of these 7 English papers is 7 factorial. Why we say that times 2? We have another way to arrange them. If we want to start by English, here we want to start by Arabic, then we have to write times 2. Now we have an extra exercise that allow us to solve more problems and help us for such problems. Consider the set F that containing the letters M, A, I, S, O, N. Here you have to read the questions and solve the application. Let us read these questions. In the first Question, how many words of distinct letter can be formed from the letter of the set F? When we read this question, we know that this is a permutation question, since we have the set F containing the six letters and we want to make distinct letters. The answer will be six factorial, as we see here in the solution. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, since we say that distinct letter. Or we can solve it arrangement without repetition, but it is a 6 out of 6. That is 6 factorial over 6 minus 6 factorial. That is 6 factorial over 0 factorial. That is 6 factorial. That is 720. Go back to the second question. How many 3? How many words of three letters of the set F can be formed if repetition is allowed? After reading this question, we know that this question is an arrangement with repetition since repetition is allowed and we want to make a three letters, word consisting of three letters. Then the answer will be Six to, 6 to the exponent 3, that is 6 times 6 times 6, that is 216 words. In the third part of the question, how many words of four distinct letters each can be formed from the letters of set F starting by I? Here, we make a condition on the, let, on the word, it should be starting with I, and we have to pay attention that it is consisting of four letters and they should be distinct. This part is a arrangement without repetition. And its solution, it's A1 out of 1, since we fixed one letter and the three remaining letters should be chosen from the five remaining letters. The answer will be 60. Or we can solve it using the blanks. Here we fix the letter I at the first of the word, then the remaining letters is 5, then we subtract 1, the remaining letters is 4, then we subtract 1, the remaining letters is 3, the answer will be 60. Part 4. How many words of 4 distinct letters can be formed from the letter of the set F starting by I and ending by S? Pay attention for the word AND. We have two conditions, starting by I and ending by S, and it is a word consisting of four distinct letters. So it is a question of arrangement without repetition with two conditions. The answer here is, since we fixed at the first one letter, we put a out of a one out of one, and we fixed a letter at the end, so we have to write a one out of one, and the two remaining letters should be chosen from four letters. Th since we chose two letters, then the remaining will be four. Then the answer will be twelve words. Or using the blanks, at the first we fix a letter, and at the end we fix a letter, so here we have one case, and here we have one case, or one possible, and the remaining 
letters are 4 then we subtract 1 the remaining letters are 3 the answer will be 12 words the last part of our exercise how many words of four distinct letters can be formed from the letters of the set F starting by I or ending by S? Pay attention for the word of. Here, since we say that the, let the word should be started by the letter I, then we make condition on the first letter in the word, then we put A1 out of 1 times, the remaining 3 letters should be chosen from 5, then times 3 A, 3 out of 5, plus, since we say or, the letter, the words should be end by the letter S, then the condition on the last blank, A1 out of 1, and the remaining 3 letters should be chosen from 5, the answer is 120. Or using the blanks here the first possible 1 times 5 times 4 times 3 the word should start by I then we put 1 and the remaining letters from the set F are 5 then we put 5 times 4 times 3 here we say or we put the plus the letter should be end by the letter the word should be end by the letter S so we have one possible case and we put 1 then the remaining letters of the set F are 5 and we are solving uh, this part with uh, distinct letters then we have to subtract 1 times 4 and we have to subtract 1 times 3 the answer will be 120 so try to solve the homework from your book that is Art of Mathematics exercise 3 page 250 and exercises 6 and 8 page 251 this is the end of the last session. Be a man